And uh, we're going to be talking about MROX, obviously market research online communities. So I'd like starting off with Tom, um, if you could maybe give us a little bit of a, a kind of brief description of what an MROC is and, and um, yeah, just tell us a little bit about First of all, them. I think it's um, good to um, try to understand the difference between MROCs or communities on the one hand and panels on the other hand because I think um, some people mix the two. Um, for me, a panel is more quantitative of nature and a community is more qualitative of nature. A community is rather small and a panel is rather huge. So for me, communities are a qualitative research tool to be uh, connected uh, and to have discussions with more people uh, over a longer period of time. And that's, I think, for me, uh, the three um, most important characteristics, that are the three most important characteristics. It's qualitative. You have a small uh, but still large enough group of people to have great uh, discussions and great consumer understanding over a longer period of time. That's a good starting point. And, and, and Carly, can, can you kind of give us a, a, an idea of how new uh, online communities are within the market research space? Is this a cutting edge methodology? I think online communities have been around you know, relatively a longish time now. Um, I think the difference that's more and more emerging over the years that I've seen with clients of mine is that they're engaging into using them as quite a common methodology in say when they're putting out proposals whereas in the past they may put a mixture of sort of doing your offline and your online with wariness that their clients might not adapt to the, the online method as compared to focus groups whereas I think now more it's becoming more and more common that people are actually understanding that they, you know, it's it's a very valuable tool, and with people being so time short and things like that, it you know it helps bring people together and get the information mm -hmm. without being you know too intrusive in people's lives, really. And, and Jens, I know that you, you kind of like you said in the in your introduction, you run a lot of these conferences um, for market research. Have you seen that kind of come to the fore? Have you seen online communities come to the fore in in, in recent years at market research events? Yeah, definitely. I think it's probably over the last year or so that we've seen one of the most uh, discussed and most featured um, new methodology at a conference. And I think it's a mix of um, a uh, a little bit of more of a move to towards online and mobile, and then the ease that or the help that the technologies provide. Um, and at the same time, I think everybody's looking for to change their ways to reach out to uh, possibly younger generation, possibly mm. also people that are using more um, online and mobile t uh, communication tools and, and, and rocks are a great way to stay in touch with that generation that's communicating uh, predominantly um, over online and mobile. Okay, fantastic. And I, and I know, Robin, that we had a little bit of a chat um, previously about um, kind of um, uh, M rocks and, and where they would fit in with research. I'd just like to get an, a, an idea of, of what you think the main outcomes are for an M rock. Why are people going to go and do an M rock as opposed to other forms of, uh, of market research methodologies? I think that it's a continuum because I think that, um, first of all, clients have got to buy into the power of online call, and then once that's proven, they can then justify the strategic and budget investment in building an M rock. And, you know, the recent report we ran, we did a survey at one of Jens' conferences uh, last year, and I think 45% of people said they were actively interested um, in developing an MROC, which is consistent with the latest data from the GRIT report. So I think there's a lot of client interest out there. Um, just picking up uh, on something Tom said, mm -hmm. um, I actually believe that an MROC can be a quant and a qual research vehicle. And it seems to me that different consultancies have slightly different angles on it. But if you've got 400 people in the community, it seems to me um, you know, that can be a good vehicle for doing some limited quant, quant work as well. And that's one of the key attractions, because it gives the client greater flexibility um, and greater value in the work they're doing. OK, I saw some nodding heads uh, along the bottom there. Was it, was Jens, would you, would you agree with that? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, in, in the limited way that um, that we use our communities, um, it's, it's probably um, more of a quant approach if you just want to do some flash polls on where's your next location, etc. It's obviously not on the sophistication level that um, Tom would, for example, run his communities, but I think, mm. again, that's one of the advantages you can actually you can use um, online communities in, in a very varied way and across very different stages of your research. 